Salvatore Moreau. Out of all the lore surrounding the four lords in Resident Evil Village, his story seems to be the most shallow. Beyond being a descendant of one of the original four lords who ruled over the region, little is actually known of the Fishman. Moreau is perhaps the most devoted to Miranda out of the four lords, or possibly infatuated. Moreau's dialogue can be described as either, really, as he is heard saying things such as, Oh, Mother Miranda, if it's for you, I'd do anything. Or, I should be with her, not you. Honestly, he may just be a bit of a mama's boy. Serving as the final lord of House Moreau, Salvatore oversees the reservoir and dam in the village. This seems a fitting station for the mutant, as he's seen as having tattoos on his arms often associated with sailing, such as the anchor on his left and a jellyfish with the word mother inscribed in it just above his shoulder. Yeah, a mama's boy. Although the date of his cadet implantation is unknown, it is quite obvious he had the least amount of affinity with the parasite, compared to the other lords. Miranda even made special mention in his medical report, which reads, quote, Subject name, Salvatore Moreau. Cadeau affinity, low. Brain function, surprisingly low. The Cadeau has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for Ava. End quote. Moreau was defective in Miranda's eyes, yet because of his lineage, he was still seated as one of the village lords. This seems strange, considering the level of intelligence he displays, aside from Miranda's own mention of how low it is. She even entrusts him with conducting Cadeau experiments in a lab all for himself. Now, we've mentioned narrative beats that don't make sense in past lore entries, but this one is especially glaring. For someone as smart as Miranda, to allow so much oversight to such a troubled creature is alarming at best and insane at worst. For instance, take a listen to one of Moreau's own experiment notes. The journal in its entirety reads as follows, quote, Mother Miranda gave me a mountain. Now I can do lots and lots of Cadeau experiments. This is my secret laboratory. I did three Cadeau experiments today, but they all went pop and made a mess. I put in the Cadeau and then I tried putting wolf blood from a needle into the spine. The person wiggled a lot and then killed my assistant. I could not hold it down, so I put it in a cage. Now I have to feed it." End quote. Clearly, these are the astute notes of an established physician. Now, there's perhaps an argument to be made that Moreau was more intellectually capable before the Cadeau implementation, but there doesn't seem to be any evidence of this. There is a sign outside of his laboratory that reads Moreau's Clinic, which you may think would add an air of certainty to it, but given that the clinic was gifted to him by Miranda, the sign becomes more of a formality with no real foundation. Now, back to Moreau's Cadeau implantation. The lab notes detail how Moreau mutated inside and out, with his organs becoming fish-like in nature and his appearance becoming something out of, well, a horror film. This no doubt had an impact on the man's self-esteem, and probably played into his isolationist tendencies. Between wanting to please Miranda and being ashamed of his appearance, Moreau often did not leave the confines of his caves and lab, except when he was hungry, of course. Whenever his stomach got the rumblies, he set out onto his reservoir, taking on his mutated form to both terrorize and devour the local fishermen. With all this being said, Moreau's half-fish mutation isn't just happenstance. Like the other lords, his character is influenced by other famous works or superstition. In this case, H.G. Wells' The Island of Dr. Moreau. The Island of Dr. Moreau is centered around a shipwrecked man's interactions on a deserted island with a scientist named, of course, Dr. Moreau. While Moreau himself in this work suffers no mutations, he does horrible experimentation on the local wildlife in order to make them human. The results are half-animal, half-human creatures that are constantly battling their inner instincts to return to their wild ways. Salvatore Moreau in Resident Evil performs equally horrific experiments on the local villagers with the Cadeau, as was previously outlined in his experiment notes. Descriptions of some of his failures popping and making a mess paints a pretty grisly picture of how he handled his brand of science. No doubt, this Moreau is every bit as insane as the character he was inspired from. Other sources for his character may be H.P. Lovecraft and Japanese folklore involving the Kappa, with the latter being referenced in concept art as an inspiration for his normal human appearance. Disgusting to say the least, and perhaps a bit tragic, due to his mental problems stemming in part from his mutation, Moreau almost seemed like an afterthought compared to the other lords. Even Ethan Winters, before Moreau's mutation, takes advantage of the mutant's ineptness as he literally walks right up and takes Rose's flask from Moreau while he's watching TV. Moreau tries to stop him with his ability to build structures from a gross mucus-like enzyme he secretes everywhere, but Ethan outplays him at every turn. 
Eventually, Moreau completely loses control of his mutation and chases Ethan through the reservoir as the latter attempts to escape by opening the sluice gate, as the only way out is currently underwater. Ethan wastes no time fixing the gate and draining the reservoir, and makes equally quick work of Moreau's monstrous form with his arsenal that he is hauling. Even his acidic vomit, which he can produce with enough volume to create a brief rainstorm overhead, fails to stop the agitated father. Moreau's life is snuffed against a hailstorm of bullets and explosives, his body seizing into a crystal, much like many of the other Cadeau infected creatures in the village. As awful as Moreau was, it's sad to think that all of his actions were to impress Miranda, his mother. If we are to believe Heisenberg later on, she had already decided his life was worth nothing more than a temporary blockade to slow Ethan Winters, who, also according to Heisenberg, was being set up as a replacement for not only one, but all the lords. Pretty tragic to think about. However, as Moreau's tale concludes, so too must this video. What did you think of Moreau's character in Resident Evil Village? Are there any other bits of lore you'd like to see expanded on in the series? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, cheers!